Hey, it's Simon with IP Exchange. We're at Embedded World 2024 for part two of yes, my chat with uh, Frank Chen at uh, Exascend. Uh, so the f previous chat, we were talking about uh, the award-winning BGA SSD memory for automotive applications. Now we're talking about radiation-hardened memory. So Frank, um, tell us a little bit about the story behind this radiation-hardened uh, memory and the applications, I guess. So radiation hardened uh, storage is something new that we that we kind of engineered last year. Mm -hmm. So this is on the backdrop of um, you know SpaceX and oh, other yes, moon yeah. explorations. And we actually had some agencies contact, contacting us about um, radiation hardened like CF Express cards. Okay. So that kind of piqued our interest in bu building a whole new line of radiation hardened products. So. When we are talking with these agencies, we see it, there's a need for, you know, radiation hardening for storage because once the once the product is in space, you can't yep. you can't replace yeah. it. There's no RNA, yeah. there's no product replacement. It has to work. Mm. So reliability under radiation is very important. And second of all, um, because space is vacuum, right? yeah. So there's there's very little medium for transferring heat. Mm. So power is very important okay. for, for, for space, not only because there's limited power budget mm. for uh, space applications, but also because there's just simply not enough um, thermal mitigation techniques mm. in, va in vacuum yeah. to, to, to help. Never them. really thought about that, yeah. but yeah, it's, that's definitely, yeah. definitely going to be a problem. So you know, this line of radiation hardened mm. product actually integrates a couple mm. of very important features for us, not just the radiation hardening, but also one is we have um, conformal coating and BG underfill. Okay. So it, this is taking a page from our PA for automotive series because there's a lot of shock and vibration, right? especially when you're oh, taking yes. off. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. that's very important. And second, um, power is very important. So we have the lowest power um, E1.S, U.2 in the industry. Oh, excellent. so in Good. that in, in that way, you know, you don't when you're going to space, you don't have to design so much thermal mitigation mm. uh, hardware for us because. Mm. Um, just using the the casing, you should be able to, you know, dissipate the heat and keep the thermal under control. And then the most important part is also do not die yeah, when, yeah. when bombarded by radiation. Yeah. So we have this new technology called Phoenix Guard. Okay. So you know, as you know, a phoenix kind mm. of rises from the ashes. Yeah. Yes. So in a, in a, in an event when uh, radiation hits the drive mm. and something bad happens to the drive, um, all you need to do is recycle, repower up the drive. You okay. know clean up everything and everything's back to to working order again. Excellent. So um, that's the key selling point for our radiation yeah, hardening. Yeah, I hadn't heard any of that before, so. Um, so in terms of the um, the actual type of memory, what, what are the types of memory you have here? So these are NAND flash memory. Okay. So uh, again, we work with Micron yeah. um, pretty heavily. Um, so we use that um, memory from Micron. It's called the, mm. this is the latest 140 series uh, NAND flash. So mm. as you see, we have a complete, we, we have a whole, whole wafer yeah, yeah. of um, NAND flash dyes on there. So we actually take the wafer and we actually package our own NAND from okay. that wafer and they become the, the BJ packages on, cool. on, on these storage devices. Nice. So just at, for my own interest, uh, when we're talking about radiation tolerance in space, um, is this uh, kind of at the satellite level, or is this at the like kind of the deep space mission type so of level? So right now, um, there's two types. One is for Leo, uh, so that's low Earth orbit, and yeah, then there's yeah. a deep, deep space. So each level is uh, of radiation is, is different. Mm. Yeah. Cool. And um, are you allowed to say any missions that you've managed to get these into yet? No, no, no. Can't, can't say that. <laughs> uh, they could never, they could never get that answer. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, and I guess in terms of, I, I can see they're in. Uh, Standard form factors is, yes. is 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 that is it just a case of plug in, evaluate that yes. way? Yes. So cool. these are pretty much easy to pretty easy to uh, to evaluate. Uh, but for certain for certain applications in space, mm. we may uh, actually redesign the connector to be yeah. to be shock and vibration um, proof. So the, then then the PCB will take a slight take on a slightly different form factor mm. because it will not it'll no longer be using gold fingers. 
it will be using a shotgun vibration like okay. ethanol connector. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Cool. Well, another very, very exciting memory device from Exasend. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank Frank, you very much, Ian. Uh, for telling us all about this stuff. And yeah, we, we look forward to seeing you another time and hopefully you'll have another award. Yeah. Thank you. Thank cool. you. Thank you. Are you where my engineers at?